This is a really important video for me personally. It's something I've wanted to do for some time. It's something I get requested all the time. And it actually is, how did I get into the watch business. Just a little bit of background on me and what I actually did before. So I was actually in the property industry for 15 years. I started at the bottom, I started actually as a labourer on £50 a day quite many years ago. And I worked all my way up to site foreman and then I ended up running some quite big uh, residential sites, doing some old property conversions and also I did some new builds. At the end of my career in property, I actually had what was called the Yorkshire Post, which is the Saturday morning property. And I managed to get some of my buildings that I did and some of my properties actually featured in their Saturday morning Yorkshire Post, which for you guys out there will know, it's quite a big achievement. And also they ended up in magazines. So I actually did everything from the ground up, from the design with the architect, all the way through to the actual interior design. So that's something that I am generally proud of. And then in between that, between the watch market, I actually had a coffee shop. Bit of a random one, something that I actually wanted to, always wanted to do, set it up. Again, I had no experience in this particular industry but something that I actually did set up a brand new coffee shop in a local town and it was a successful business it was not something that was my life calling but something that I actually did did that for three years and then I was looking for the one the one the passion the one thing that I wanted to do was something that I really really enjoyed doing and it was watches I've always had the passion for watches I've always been interested in watches and something that if I could make that a business for me then that was the one that set me for the rest of my life. I actually started the business in November 2014. We actually registered the company around 2016, but to start with, because it was a brand new business, I wanted to make sure I could make a go of it. So to do that, I actually had a affordable website built in India, and I actually started with my own watch and £25,000 loan from my mother. And at this particular time in my life, you know, without going into the backstory of my life, I'd done things, I'd been successful, I'd tried a lot of things, but I wanted something, like I said, that was passionate. And for me, I kind of felt like it was like my last chance. You know, I, my back was against the wall. I needed to find something that, you know, would make me happy. With that £25,000 loan, I had to make a go of it. There was no second chances for me. That's the way I thought about it in my mind. And I had to actually make it a success. So we started in 2014, November, started trading, affordable website built in India, and we started selling ladies Rolex watches. So ladies Rolex watches back then were very fashionable. The small ladies Rolex watches, which were the 26 millimeter in size, we actually don't sell them anymore, just purely because they are, obviously, all ladies want the large watch, a minimum of 31 or 36, or even the full-size gents now, even like the full-size Daytonas. But back in them day, that's what everybody wanted. And we could actually buy Ladies Rolex watches for between two and two and a half thousand pounds. We had a watchmaker who's now since retired, but we would buy 10 watches. We had a couple of traders coming out of London. I don't know if you guys are watching, but we've actually lost touch over the years, but these guys used to come and see me. They would have what were called a trade wage. They would make 150 pounds on each watch and they'd come they'd come and see me and they actually play out them all on the table and I would pick my best selling models I would then send them to my watchmaker he would then polish them he would then do a dial swap whatever we needed to do to market it and we'd market them online so we were actually an e-commerce online business and the main way that we actually sold watches then was through eBay eBay was a selling platform which was paired with PayPal now they've now split they're not actually together anymore it's completely different they have the authenticity guarantee which again touched other videos but this is what we did so we actually like a little conversation belt of ladies Rolex watches. We used to buy them, get them prepped, get them sold, and then obviously keep restocking. And with having such a small stake of £25,000, we had to keep that money working. So there was no day off for us. There was no sort of like any relaxed time. I literally worked 15 hour days every single day of the week. I worked bank holidays, I worked weekends, I worked Christmas days, I worked boxing days, I worked Christmas Eves, I was working on my wedding day. You name any day of the week and I was actually working because the online business, for you guys out there who have your own online business, I'm sure there's plenty watching, it never sleeps. And if you're not selling that watch to that client, they're gonna go down the road and buy from somebody else. So it's really important that I knew, and I knew that, that I made my money work. Now, if I was starting the business now with 25,000 pounds, what would that actually buy me? So it would probably buy me like a Datejust, and let's say, I don't think I've got any GMTs, in, and, a, and a Submariner, something like that. We've actually got a Sprite there, so that, that Sprite's like 20, and that's like, I think about 8K. So, you know, something similar to like two watches. You know, how can you make a business of that in this day and age 
virtually impossible. So, so yeah, that's how we did it. And the thing is now, it's like I look back, so there's no way I could start the business without bankroll. And the thing is for, for you business owners out there, some guys are fortunate enough to be able to start with a bigger bankroll. You're fortunate enough to be able to have a lot of money behind you. But like I said, I had such a small stake. And for me, you know, I had to make that money work harder than everything. And the way I look at it is like this. So imagine you're wanting to build an orchard, something like that, and you actually be able to plant the trees that are half the size already to start with. I didn't have that opportunity. I'd start with the seed in orchard. To get the seed to the orchard, to the tree, I had to make and put all that time in to nurture it to get the business to where it is now. And that's exactly what I did with the watch business because for me, it was all about our name and credibility. And it's not been an easy journey for me. There's been many ups and downs. We actually, when we first started, we used to buy a lot out of Europe because in Europe back in that time the pound was really strong it was about one pound to 145 150 somewhere around there and for that sort of money bear in mind Europe was cheaper than by the way whereas we're the cheapest in the world now but that's how it was then and I used to be able to buy these watches from dealers in Europe and actually get the exchange rate a better deal get them back obviously Brexit now has changed all that we're not allowed to free trade between Europe but that's how it was then and we'd get them in but we also started selling the day date range now the day date range we've got a couple for you here so I can show you so this is actually the 40 millimeter in size we actually used to buy the 36 millimeter in size which were you know fashion at the time now that's considered a unisex watch but we used to buy the full bracelet yellow gold 18038 or 18238 which are the single or double quick reference for around about five five and a half grand that's on a full bracelet as well it's not something like even like on a leather strap it was on a full gold bracelet and we used to buy them out of europe i think the first year that we actually opened we actually bought 32 day day yellow golds and we actually sold them but like i said you know that's how much the market has changed now when we're looking back in them days it's incredible thing you get a full gold watch for that but around 2014 15 that's what you could actually do and so it's quite funny because a lot of my fellow colleagues now and people i know in the industry obviously i'm dealing with them all friends now but when they first started like who is this guy where's he come from i literally was one of the biggest sellers of pre-owned ladies rolexes in the uk and for me the only way that i could actually do that i actually used to do everything in the business with myself apart from the accounts which my wife did because we set the business up together i actually did everything so i would do the buying in i would do the selling i would do the client meets I would also do the watch polishing because I had my own little polishing machine. I used to do all the, you know, the posting out, all these, all, all the little sort of niggly things that you guys don't see. That was all what I used to do. It's only the last few years where the company's grown to where it is now. I used to do absolutely everything in the business, but for me, that was the only way I could function to get the watches, you know, in, out, done, serviced, advertised and sold. So yeah, it's just a real important thing for you guys to know that, you know, nothing is what you think. You think you buy a watch, you advertise it and you sell it and there's so, so much more and a lot more dangers too. So to give you guys an idea on the dangers and the pitfalls of our industry, it's notorious that you know, we are open to scammers all the time. Now that could mean anything from a stolen watch, which we check out on the watch register. That could be anything from a fake watch. And I have actually bought a fake watch in that time period. I've, I've still physically got the watch in there. It's a reminder never ever to do that again. I broke all the rules. I won't go into all the details, but I just set up, I was new. I was actually buying it for myself, broke all the rules. Anyway, I bought this watch, cost me 10,000 pound in the end. But I actually physically have that watch because it's a reminder of not to do that. And the pitfalls of obviously people paying with stolen cards, things like that. You know, we used to have a company called WorldPay, which I'm sure you guys know, built into our website. You could literally check out. You know, I had funny feelings. You have that gut feeling. Is you know any sort of dealer, you always have that gut feeling. There's a rule. You know, if in doubt, leave it out. And even though I'd still have these gut feelings, I'd ring up WorldPay, say, look, you know, what about this particular payment? No, it's absolutely fine. Pass the 3D secure, pass the ID check, so on and so forth. IP address, you name it, it's all passed. I'm like, so I'd wait a couple of days before posting it. On the ring for our challenge don't, don't send that watch out I, 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 oh it's a fraudulent payment i'm like i know that you know i've even had to send some some watches out through other dealers a friend of uh, mine around the country to certain clients that i was dubious about it turned out they were scams as well so you know we are open to scams all the time I mean, we are a fully fledged e-commerce site now we have lots of layers of security you know within our new e-commerce site and you can check out with many different payments including bank transfer credit card debit card finance we've always been fca regulated and authorized so that's something you know if you you guys out there independent dealers you know it's very hard to offer finance to clients so that's something really proud of because on probably five or ten percent of independent dealers like us 
are able to do that because you have to have the best company and the best account and it's not easy to get because we are regu regulated by the FCA so that's something really proud of and you can also check out crypto now so that's something else that we've done just evolving through the years you know as we've moved on you know you just got to keep adding layers and layers to your company and for us obviously we've got this unbelievable boutique at Broughton Hall in Skipton in North Yorkshire a three and a half thousand acre estate from the 1500s with this unbelievable old school perfect for our brand this is who we are and this is what we are and we've always been this to so have an amazing where are you guys out there and our clients come and see us every day of the week we're now fully booked pretty much every day of the week with appointments and we also ship worldwide which is again unbelievable for us you know to be able to have a company that can send fully insured watches in and out of the country we send them to all literally all over the world every week which is absolutely fantastic and you know for the journey where we've been from you know starting with a £25,000 stake which again like I say you imagine going to start a new business now and sat down with a business plan and you go to your bank manager and say look I want to start a business for 25 grand it'd laugh you out the door it's absolutely ridiculous you need so much money to be able to start a business but I literally built it through hard work and determination and you know the fact that I would not actually give in I was going to make a success of, of this business you know I mean I'm so so proud to be able to to look at where we are now you know and we have a massive team around as you know I've got my wife that still does the accounts you know I've got a full-time photographer and videographer Joe I've got a full-time PA now Josh and we've got the amazing media team around us here that do all the YouTube videos that's that's where we are that's where the company's got if I can do it you can do it if anybody can do it it's really important to understand that I started this, this business from my own house you know that's where I started the business I actually converted one of the rooms in my house 2014 to be able to move it all the way along and it, it you know it's true you can actually you know be a success from there so just let you guys know we're not finished yet we're so excited to see where the LWC brand can go where the YouTube journey it can go and it's thanks to you guys out there that follow us that are now becoming our clients you know the company is growing you know we're so excited as the team's growing as well and let's just see where the LWC story actually goes